Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a video just reviewing my surgical rotation so far. I'm three weeks into a six week block and it's been really good, exciting, tiring, hard, ups, downs, whatever. Um, there's definitely been more ups than downs, I have to say, but it's just so hectic, like so much to learn. The thing is, some so my uni just like most unis have a ton of students and not that much hospitals you know you can't have everyone at the same hospital to standardize their experience and anyway medicine is different in different places so there's no point in standardizing the uni experience because when we all go out to work it will be different anyhow so um i am at a hospital with seven others so there's eight of us doing the surgical rotation at the moment and we're there for six weeks and um, our hospital asks more of us than other hospitals ask of their students in terms of um, enforced presence. So as in we have to be there morning and afternoon on a set amount of days, etc, etc. Whereas other, like when I'm speaking to my friends that are in other hospitals, they just have to be there in the morning or, you know, it's just not as strict. I personally prefer the stricter way just because um, sometimes we all need a little bit of encouragement to to p actively participate and especially if you're like a shy person and you you you're not as comfortable in putting yourself out there or being places well if you're supposed to be there if you've been told you have to be there then that's just you're just like oh I'm here because I have to be if whereas um, in the places where you kind of uh, only you have have to be there in the morning but you don't have to be there in the afternoon if you're not a confident person and the people aren't approachable and you're, you're saying oh i want to go to such such a clinic but i don't know how to ask to be you know you just don't know how to approach those things and it's nice to be like oh actually i have to be at this clinic so i'm here <laughs> um so that's one perk i think um the downside of such an involved curriculum is where do you find time to do other things like I am trying to find time to look at my um, lectures in advance like we have a tutorial every day I'm trying to look at that in advance trying to do this trying to do that trying to do the other modules that we don't necessarily have timetable time to do we just have to do it throughout the year and that has like a ton of lectures that it's it's sometimes it gets too much so that's the only downside that in the other places you can kind of pick and choose when to go in when suits you best and when you'd rather stay home and do other things whereas at mine I'm, I'm in pretty much every day um maybe not a full day every day but sometimes we get in at eight and not leaving until maybe six but most days it's like uh eight till three four or so depending like if you're in theater you i would usually go to theater in the afternoon so let's say from two o'clock onwards and i'm not really gonna be leaving a case until it's done so if your surgery just happens to take six seven hours from two o'clock well i'm here i'm gonna be watching it for six seven hours because I don't know, but that's just my own personal thing in that I would rather watch something until it's finished and take what I have to learn from it, ask all the questions, like I'm already there, might as well ask questions, I already know what's going on and stuff, so it's a nice safe environment. So that's just my own personal preference. That's how sometimes, one day we went into theatre at 2 and didn't end up leaving until past 7 o'clock, so that was fun! <laughs> Um, and as part of my rotation as well, you have to do a few evening take-ins, which makes complete sense because a hospital is 24-7, it's not just 9 to 5 or whatever. Um, and it's just interesting to see patients from Andy and then how they then get admitted to surgery and then what then goes on with them that way. So I, I find those particularly interesting. I've done two out of four so far and I need to squeeze in the other two somewhere, but... I'm finding it really like today would have been a perfect day to squeeze one in but I chose to come home and film this video and also get some other work done but it's just trying to find time management is highlighted in this like this past month managing my time has been like 
difficult and it's just been eye-opening in terms of how organized I have to be because I'm still working so a lot of my weekend is taken up with being at work and when I'm at work I'm not going to be you know I don't have the time to then look at surgery and appendix and gallbladders and whatever so within my week I just have to find bits and bobs to be able to study and it is really really hard it is but as with anything like you feel a good sense of achievement when you when something is hard like the harder something is the better it feels when you achieve it or when you go past it and do okay or do well or whatever so I know it's going to be worth it in the end but it has been difficult anyway so what have I been using we have lectures um well not lectures they're more like tutorials like half an hour videos recorded and then you just watch that let's say a particular topic would be gallstones like I'd mentioned earlier the it will kind of give you signposts as to what they are just the basics basically but the exam we've been told is not going to be on basics that that tutorial is not what's going to allow you to pass the exam so you have to kind of buffer up your knowledge somehow I found just being um, at the hospital, being on the wards in theatre, a good way to learn because the doctors ask you questions, you encounter things that you've never seen before, and then you learn things that way. So I found that a good way to learn and buffer my knowledge. I make these um, diagrams or mind maps, or I don't know what you would call them, where I just kind of like, whatever I learn from something, I write it on there and it's really colourful and bright. And I aim to go back and read them at the end of the week but I actually only won the first two weeks I managed to read them at the end of each week after that it's just been like I've not had the time I've not had a chance so that's my aim is to do that and then read it at the end of the week and kind of reinforce it in my brain and they also recommend that we do textbook reading um, I showed you guys the principles of surgery which I still have and sitting downstairs but I also bought Essential Surgery, which, comparing the two, I like Principles of Surgery, I like that book, but um, Essential Surgery is also good, and everyone else is using Essential Surgery, so I was like, okay, then let me not get left out, let me use Essential Surgery, so that's what I've been using. This book here, but I kind of still mix and match between Principles and this one. I am going to have to send back principles of surgery soon, actually. That reminds me, I need to do that. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing. And then obviously the internet's a really good resource. Uh, use it wisely. Google is great until you open up something that's like completely false, but has been advertised as true because it's on the internet. So yeah, the internet is great. And Teach Me Surgery. So last year, Teach Me Anatomy was like a saving grace. This year, there's Teach Me Surgery. I did not know these things existed. Um, so yeah, Teach Me Surgery has been really good as well. Even just with the way they lay out the website, presentations or blah, blah, blah. Like it's got a lot of useful stuff in there. So I would say that's a good, that's been a good resource in my past three, three and a bit weeks. So yeah, so far, thoroughly enjoying surgery. I didn't think I would want to be a surgeon, but it's such, it's lovely. It's amazing. But I don't know if it's amazing because the people I'm surrounded by are amazing and I'm just having an overall really good experience. Whereas if the people are not so great and, it, you know, then the stress is a bit more. But I've been having such a great time. Maybe, maybe I'm a future surgeon. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, I, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. You know the drill. So yeah, see you guys later. Bye.